Well, we've had a dry winter so far, but as long time Coloradans know, our snowiest months are still to come. Katie has more on how that impacts how we drive. AAA insurance expert Skylar McKinley is here now to talk more about driving in ice and snow. So Skylar, despite a pretty dry winter so far, why is now a really good time to think about winter driving? It happens every year. I like to call it cool spring. The days start getting longer and folks say, winter's behind me. I don't have to worry about that anymore. From the data, we know March is our snowiest month. We've got snowy days ahead. Snow causes crashes, it causes icing. It's one reason why we see insurance claims go up this time of year. So look, now's the time to be ready for winter weather. We are not out of the woods yet. Make sure you've got an emergency kit in your car. Make sure your car is properly maintained, that you've got the right tires with enough tread and enough pressure. Make sure you've swiped out your wiper blades. It also means, hey, remembering the, the finer points of winter driving, which is something we deal with in Colorado, sometimes into May. So let's do a refresher for everyone out there watching. What should drivers remember when we're all driving in snowy conditions? If I had to get just a single message out, if you had to remember just one thing, it's slow down. Speed's the number one factor uh, causing crashes in winter conditions, and in fact, all conditions. Accelerate, turn, brake gradually, adjust your speed to the road conditions. Uh, you should allow at least three times more space between you and the cars in front of you than you would when it's dry. Uh, also remember, four-wheel drive doesn't mean four-wheel stop. You might have an all-terrain vehicle, I do, but it's not gonna slow down any better than a small sedan. Otherwise, don't tailgate. Avoid unnecessarily changing lanes because of the icing between lanes. And if you do lose control of your vehicle, which happens, ease off the accelerator and steer in the direction you want the front of the car to go. Don't power up hills, but don't stop midway up a hill either. We see this all the time, especially on Colfax near the Capitol. And if you're approaching a stoplight, a traffic light, or any other area where there's ice going to form, brake early on clear pavement to reduce speed. Brake early, really, that, that's key. Don't be slamming on the brakes. Don't do anything suddenly in snowy conditions. Yep. So it's inevitable, though, crashes happen. So in the event of a crash, what should Coloradans do? Yeah, again, remember, just slow down and you, you'll probably be safer than if you don't. But if you do get in a crash on busy, snowy, icy days, law enforcement can always come get you, uh, especially in minor fender benders. So don't count on them working everything out. That's why you need to record the crash details, date, time of day, location, get the other driver's contact information, their insurance information, the vehicle making model. I always say take photos and videos of the crash. Your insurance agent is going to want that. And finally, look, uh, nobody wants to get in a crash. It's a headache, um, even when it, everybody's okay. This is why it's so helpful to have a local insurance agent who's going to just pick up the phone call and work you through the entire rigmarole. We can help you find one at AAA.com slash life in Colorado.